Since the dawn of time, man has wondered, do miracles exist? Are they real? Are they possible? In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I curse Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, you have faith. Yes, yes, Put your hand yes, on your back. back. Lord, he, he heal him. Let's give the Lord a praise, will you? Miracles are real. Miracles are possible. Miracles are for today. And in the name of Jesus, be opened. But he said, I Jesus. You hear that? I command right now, God, this broken shoulder, this collarbone, God, these bones right now. I command all of this pain and this limitation come out. Loose them right now. Oh, God, I loose a miracle. Hi, hey, welcome to the program today, Miracles with Peter Dosick. And I have with me today Linda Rossler, yes. which is a pastor in our area. But Leonard has been overseas and uh, seen the Crusades oh, yes. and seen miracles happen. Powerful moves. Of God. And uh, so we were talking about a, a miracle that took place in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Uh, and of course, there was a, a crippled man there that was totally crippled, his hands twisted in, his feet turned backwards, and uh, God healed him. He walked across the stage whole. But uh, we were talking about an eye. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember was, that vividly. Oh, man. It was blind. He was blind in that oh, eye. Yeah. And uh, when we prayed, it stuck out. It protruded. Oh, yeah. And uh, the eye, the pupil of that eye looked just about the size of a pencil eraser. Yeah. It wasn't very big. And when we prayed for it, I called you over, and that eye started going back in his head. The pupil started getting bigger, oh, yes. and the eye, all the excess eye ran right down his cheek. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you how intense this miracle was. In fact, I, I've got to tell you, I've seen a lot of miracles over the years, but I had never seen anything quite like this. When Pastor called me over, uh, first thing that I noticed was there was a very thick, very, very ultra-thick film on this person's eye, but then it was it was almost like the eye was hemorrhaging, and it was just looked like it was filled with blood with this really white, milky, whatever it was. I mean, it looked, Pastor, it looked hideous. Yes, I and, know it. And I, you know, so when I walked over and you began to pray for him, one of the things that I noticed, because in my mind, I was like, he is sticking his thumb, and, and you got to understand, this looked so hideous. And he stuck his thumb over there. He didn't jab the person, but he stuck his thumb over that person's eyelid. And as he began to pray, he began to curse that, con that condition. And the power of God began to move. And pastor is one of the most miraculous things that I've ever seen. I don't know where the blood went to. I don't either. But it wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. And then one of the other things that I've seen, and I've never seen something manifest like this. It was that thing began to melt pastor. And as it began to melt, I mean, you literally, you could just see it coming off of the gentleman's eye. You could see the eye, you could see the, 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 the total eye, you could see the pupil. It, it was just melting off of that gentleman's eye. And God was giving him a miracle. Like he said, it was running down his cheek. And I, I sat there in amazement at how the power of God manifested in that crusade. I don't think Kagiyan de Oro uh, and Mindanao oh, will ever be no. the same again. That was one of the most powerful moves of God. Let me let me say, during that crusade, it was like the if, if there's ever such a thing, like the Book of Acts on steroids oh, right. in that meeting. It during was. the praise and worship, there were demons crying out of people. I mean, it was like everything you read yes. in the Book of Acts was happening even before. He called anybody out or hands was being laid on people. Just during the during the worship, the presence of God was just filling that. It was actually a soccer stadium. Yeah, right. It and was. I think there was almost close to what, 13,000 people, people in that there. soccer yep. stadium. Uh, and that, that was, I think that was the first night yeah, we were there, night. wasn't it? Yeah. And as, as the power of God began to manifest, I sat there and I watched our Bible, your Bible, your promise, your scriptures, when he said, by your stripes, we are healed, or that you are healed, that is exactly what the word of God means. Yes. And during that crusade, Pastor, and, and, and I've seen God do some great things, but not at that level or with in that intensity. Yeah. And the magnitude 
uh, of that meeting was one of the most powerful things that I'd ever seen. I've heard Pastor Dosick talk about these things for years, and I've had plenty of invitations, and I thank God for the privilege of being able to go into that meeting. But when I that meeting still sticks out in my mind because I think there were over 16,000 oh, people. Yeah. Now, these were cards, first time yeah. People, cards Give that were filled life. out yeah. in that meeting. 16,000 yeah. people gave their heart to yes. Christ. Yeah. What was it, in four days, I believe? Yeah, four days. Yeah. And, but that gentleman, if you could have seen the Jubilee and, I mean, the excitement in that meeting. But, but I can remember all of us looked at that miracle. And it was just like, from that time on, it's just like God opened that Anything meeting Anything is up. possible, yeah. And, you know, and I remember, because th- at that point in time, Pastor had... People from the from the Coliseum come down and we pray for them. And first time I'd ever had a miracle like this manifest, there was this person, a young lady, probably in her mid-30s, that you could tell had a stroke. Hmm. And she would come up and she was just, par- she could not raise her arm. And you, you could just tell she was greatly impaired, had a limp. And as I began to pray, uh, I'll never forget, Pastor called me over and he said, look, we're going to pray for people and you just yeah. lose faith. And just believe God. He, he had this little pep talk with all of us before we started praying with people. And as I prayed for that lady, I told her, I said, raise her arm. She couldn't do it. I prayed for her again. Next thing you know, the arm came up about this far. And I prayed for her again. And this time, yes. she raised it all the way up. God took away her limp. God took away every ailment that was in her body. And the joy of the Lord began to manifest in Hallelujah. that meeting by the end of the week. Not only this Coliseum was filled, but even the soccer field, uh, people around. were coming yep. around. I mean, it was just a glorious meeting. Amen. I said all that to say this. Jesus said, if you can believe, all things are possible. And maybe you're watching this program today, and you need a miracle. When Pastor Dosick is sharing with you about these miracles, these, these are not just stories. These are actual, real-life real events. Yes that have taken place in real people's lives that's got real miracles. And you that need a real miracle can have that manifest in your life because we serve a real Jesus. We live a real gospel. And the prayer of faith is as real as it gets. And if you can believe God today, you don't have to have a lot of faith. All you have to do is just believe Believe that Jesus died for you, that his blood was shed for you, and that by his stripes, Pastor, we We are here. Heals. Yes. You know, there are so Amen. many miracles. I don't know how many blinded eyes. A lot was of open, them. And a lot, a lot of deaf of ears. And, you know, and I'm still reminded of just that gentleman that walked in with his, literally yeah. his, he was walking on his ankle. And I don't know how many years he had walked like that. But yeah, he, God he, he totally crippled. Just I mean, God totally healed. It was an amazing, yeah. amazing thing. You know, Let's uh, us know God's real. Yes, he is. I, I want to remind you at the end of the program, we're going to be praying for you. Make sure that you get the sick and the diseased around, oh, yes. uh, whatever it might be. We're going to be praying. We're going to be, begin to believe God for miracles. So you get ready. Let's show you some miracles that took place. She's deaf and dumb. From birth, in the name of Jesus. Come on, you deaf devil. I command you in Jesus' name, come out right now. Be opened in the name of Jesus. Come on, folks. Stretch forth your hand here. You hear this? And look at me. You hear that? In the name of Jesus, you deaf devil right now, I command you to come out. In Jesus' name, be opened in the name of Jesus. Be opened in the name of Jesus. God, I loose miracles right now into your eardrums to near nerve endings in Jesus name in Jesus name Mm-mm. look at me you hear that do you hear this do you know her Jesus This little girl's been born deaf and dumb. How old is she? She's 13, been born deaf and dumb. Now this girl, who are you? Are you her sister, her friend? This is her sister. She brought her, she has spoken to her ear 
And this little girl has just repeated what Vanessa, her sister, has just said. And my throat almost, I a decade old, so I have this problem with my throat. I have four endoscopy and I have x-rays, but the, the doctor cannot find any wrong with me. But I cannot, I can swallow, but most of the time, I can feel there's a cavity in my throat. So right. sometimes food goes inside and... What, what do you feel now? Tell me your throat. I think there is no more lump. I can feel every time I eat, there is some lump. All right, I curse this lump. I command it to come out in Jesus' name. Go all of the way in the name of Jesus. Now feel it. Tell me what you got. I think it's clear. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's clear. Thank you. There? I cannot feel it. Now that's anymore. been for 10 years. 10 years she's had that decade. And she's had these for three years. No, 13 Thir years. 13 years, they're gone. 30, 30 years. 30 years, she's had cysts on her breast. Now they're totally gone. 20 years now, they're totally gone. Hallelujah. That's in pain right now. In pain? Yes. It's in pain? You can't walk through the wall. You're in pain. Sakit in pain. Alright, talk to me. Sakit, sakit. In the name of Jesus. Come on, this man was hit. He's in pain right now. Yes, Lord. I command all this pain right now in the name of Jesus. Come out of him. Loose him right now. All this pain, go. In the name of Jesus, God, I loose miracles right now. Into this body, into these joints, into this hip yes, area right Lord. now, Thank into this Jesus. leg. In the name of Jesus, I command all this pain. Bobby, come here, Bobby. Ask him if that pain's gone. How is it? How is it, brother? Is it Okay, now, yes, it's okay. Wala na sakit. Now, this young man, what happened to him, Bobby? Say it up again, Nemo. Nabanggan. Nabanggan na siya, nabanggan. Sakit daw yan, dili na lawas, pero sa gibati ni Moron. Now, I had all that. Moron, dili daw niya masaka. Listen, no, no. This young man could not lift his arm. Come on, this man could not lift his arm. I saw him in worship, and he was like this. And now? Praise the Lord. 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 Put your hand up. All right, now, come on, let's let you and I see what we got. No pain? No. No pain? Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, come on. Shout hallelujah. 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 There you go. I see like a voice of a young woman fell in a, in a deep well. And I hear it crying. Oh God, here am I. Oh God, remember me. God, here am I. God, here am I. Forget me not, God. Here am I. And a wounded soul seems to make that voice echo in those empty chambers. But I'm telling you right now that God is hearing that and God is breaking that right now. You are not going to feel isolated from God's presence. You're not, not going to feel isolated from passion and from desire. You're not even going to feel isolated in this church. I, and and I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't mean to embarrass anybody, but sometimes we can stand in the midst of people and be the loneliest creatures on the earth. And I'm telling you that right now, you are not going to be the voice out of that well any longer. God heal this soul. Heal the soul in Jesus' name. He's got pain in his hands. Yeah, he's shaking. Shakes. Yeah, he shakes. I he does. He can't write properly, and eye muscles. And his eyes must. How how are we going to be able to tell that God's touched him? Uh, one eye, I think, is this one is crossing. Oh, this one's crossing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're going to know as soon as we pray for this, right? All right. Right. All right. Yeah, gonna... You ready, Mama? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Good deal. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I curse this muscle disease right now in this eye area. In the name of Jesus, right now, come out of him right now. Let him go. Oh, God, I lose a creative miracle. Okay. There you go. Turn around and look at Mama.
Yeah. He looks straight. What? He looks straight. Yeah, he looks straight. Yeah. Now, he, he had a cross eyes, folk. Did anybody know what cross? It goes to the center. Now, his mama says it looks straight. It looks yeah. straight. Now, are you ready? We're going now. Now, do you say he has what does he? It's hands. It's muscles too. It has something to do with the, the eyes. Oh, really? Yeah. In the name of Jesus, I curse this all through his body, God. I break his power. God, what you did in the eye, I do through the body. In the name of Jesus, and I thank you for it. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, tell me, do do something for me. Did, did he have any grip? Grab my hand. Yeah, grip, grip, grip the. Yeah, he's not shaking. Huh? He's not shaking. He's not shaking. Yeah, usually he shakes. And usually it is when he grabs. Mm -hmm. Now his mother says every time he grabs a pencil or anything like that, his hand shakes when he tightens up his hand. Now it's not. His eyes not crossed. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Come on. Shout hallelujah. There you go, mama. It'll be all right. No more operation. He's not going to need an operation. Hallelujah. I had a tumor in the main vein that carried the fluid to the brains. And I just, even every three months, I have to do a MRI. I just do one the other day. And it caused in lots of problem because, like, I, so my hand is getting shaky and my body is all different kind of stuff giving me seizure and different thing. Okay, and you say it's it's on the main in a vein? It's on the main brain. vein. Okay. Carry the fluids to the brains and the doctor cannot operate on it because I will right. turn to him. And it, that that's what caused your hands to shake? Yeah, I just start to shake recently. You, know? you see that hand shaking? Yeah. And if I take up a cup, it's broke. I just been broken a lot of things these last days. I have to have someone to come in my house seven days a week. To now, well, we aren't having that right now. Yes. We're just not having that right now. No. You understand me? Yes, but we're not having that. No. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise Listen, God. you've been blood bought. Praise God. You're not your own. You belong to Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Praise He'll take him. care of the building. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, My I Lord. curse this right Praise now. God. I command yeah. right now. I command it in the name of Jesus. Praise this Lord. blockage right now, yeah. come out of her vein right now. Loose her. In Jesus' name, Praise God, every effect. Yes. In the name of Jesus, go yes. right now. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, amen Jesus. and amen. Jesus. All right, give me your hands here. Come on. This one's okay. In the name of Jesus, God, all of the way, right now. I curse this. I commanded you to go. I expect it right now, all the way. Go! In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All right. Now, don't shake under the Holy Ghost. Put these hands out. And tell me what you got. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, now go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I curse this blindness right now. I command you, you blind devil, come out right now. In the name of Jesus, God, I loose the work in the earth. Restore this side in Jesus' name. Oh, God. Oh, look at it. You see? Come on, you see? Um, I can see color. Okay, you can see color. Yeah, just like the color. All right, but you were totally blind before? It was just like black. Okay, okay. all right. So, so, uh, you see this color over here? Like, you see like a, a dark? Okay, all right. Well, good. That's, that's the beginning. In the name of Jesus, now I command, right now, oh God, I lose a miracle. Finish this miracle, God, right now. Restore sight totally, completely. In Jesus' name. All right, are you ready? Now, you look at me right now. Tell me where you see me. See me? I can see your outline, but it's very blurry, but I can okay. see you. Okay, good. Well, that's good. That's good. Now, look, this one was totally blind. Now, come on. Now, she's seeing my outline. Come on. Now, in the name of now, come on. Stretch with your hand. I'm going to give it in the name of Jesus. I curse this blindness right now. I command it all the way right now. Total silence. 
in clarity of sight and vision in Jesus' name. Yes. I read. I said, I know what you got. See me? You can see my mouth moving. Okay, good deal. You won't get this fourth time. This is a working of miracles. You understand it? All right. Now, in the name of Jesus. Now, you didn't see any of that before, right? Okay. Now, in the name of Jesus, now God complete this miracle for your glory. The cycle of life. In Jesus' name. Oh, God, for your glory. Now, look. And what you got? See me? You see my face? You can see, no, you can see my face. I command all this glory by right? blurriness right now comes out and just lands in Jesus' name. Okay, look. I'll tell you what you got. Don't cry and make a prayer. Come on. Come on. Wash it out. That's it. Wash it out. Now, what do you see? Huh? Nope. You see me move. You see my hand. You see this? You see that? You see this? You see that? Okay, good deal. All right. Now, God, finish this miracle in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Now, Sunday morning, you're going to come back here. You're going to have your pastor cover up his eye, and you're going to see totally clear. Yeah, I bet I'm man. You want me to come out? Come for your Could not see right. But God has touched him. He says now he sees everything clearly. Come on, wave to him. Wave to him. God has given him a miracle. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, sir. This young child right here, he was born deaf. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, God has opened up his deaf ears. And now he can hear. Come on, shout hallelujah. Speak in his ear. Oh, come on, shout hallelujah. Speak into that ear. Speak into this ear. Come right around there. Come on, somebody, shout hallelujah. Listen, this woman, who your mama, has had a cancerous tumor on her breast. It's been there for years. They have not been able to help her. But tonight, after the name of Jesus, the tumor has left and all the pain is gone. Oh, come on, shout hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. Well, I hope that you uh, enjoyed those miracles. You know, Jesus told us in John the 6th chapter, verse 2 and verse 14, that when they saw the miracles, they believed. So we are showing these miracles. Your faith is being stirred. And Brother Leonard and I are going to be praying for you in just a moment. So please get those people that are sick, gather them around, and God's going to be doing miracles. Before we do that, though, I want to encourage you to consider what I would call an important opportunity. It is where you and I partner together. Now, I can't go without you and you can't go without me but if we join ourselves together if you take what god has given you a little as it were a handful of meal and you apply it to what god is calling us to do i believe that god's going to increase that which you have in your hand that which you sow god will multiply second corinthians 9 10 and as you become a partner you and i will be going together i'll be preaching you're going to be getting the reward. I'll be preaching in your stead. It'll be as if you were there. God is not unfaithful to forget your labor of love. So know this, that God is keeping records and he is giving rewards to those that not are just on the front lines, but those that are helping them to be there. So here's how you can do it. You can go to peterdosick.com. That's peterdosick.com. You can uh, get on there and become a partner. Uh, it'd be great if you could be one of 500 a dollar a day. That's not much, a dollar a day. 
uh, enables us, 500 of that will go a long way. So if you can become a partner today, I want to thank you. If you can give a one-time gift, we want to thank you. But right now, we're going to begin to pray for you. Brother Leonard, let you and I just begin oh, yes. to pray. Uh, I'm just going to uh, let you start praying, and we got time. I'll jump in there. Well, i got and, to tell uh, you, I feel the anointing of God stirring on this program. And I believe God's able to do exceedingly abundantly. Pastor, yes. there's just something stirring yes. right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, yes. as we reach out to those watching this program today, we loose creative miracles. Bones are growing. Yes. Goiters are leaving. Cancers are dying. Blind eyes are opening. Deaf ears are unstopping. Financial miracles as you sow a seed. Financial miracles. Manifested miracle money is coming into your life. As we pray this prayer of faith, I believe God will supernaturally provide for you. Right now, I want you to touch Jesus. that affected area of your body because the Holy Ghost yes. is moving across these airwaves today into your home, into your bedroom, into your place of employment. God is moving on your phone, yes. on your computer. God's moving. I want to encourage you to Hallelujah. loose your faith. Father, we loose yes. the miracles right now. We speak healing and deliverance. We rebuke yes. the spirits of infirmity in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just thank you that through the Holy Ghost, people are rising up in health and healing yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I believe God is doing it right now. Hallelujah. I do too. I, I believe miracles God. have taken place. Check yourself. Just start moving. Oh, yes. You will see. Check that deaf child, that blind child, whatever it is, check them. Oh, then yes. what you can do is go to peterdosick.com, log on, and tell us about your miracle. You know, in every miracle, there is the faith that it took oh, to yes. create that miracle, and it is duplicated when other people hear so let other people hear your miracle so that they will have faith to be healed, faith to receive from God. Now, don't forget you join us next week right here, Sunday night, 830 Eastern Standard Time. That's 830 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me as we're going to be viewing more miracles that God is doing all around the world. So join your faith with us so that we can preach the gospel to the world. But then tell your friends so that they can get ready, that they can get their miracle. And sometimes we would think, oh, well, you know, it won't happen. Listen, God is faithful that when we pray, he hears. We'll see you next week. God bless you. Remember, he cares for you, and so do we. Bye-bye. Miracles are real. Miracles are possible. Miracles are for today. In the name of Jesus, I curse this cataract right now. I command it in Jesus' name to come out right now. In the name of Jesus, normally I curse you, devil. I command you to come out of it right now. What? Every joint in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I curse all of this inflammation right now. I command you to come out of him right now. Let him go.